Hello everyone and welcome back to my true crime channel. I hope you're all well. I'm sure you can guess what I want to talk to you guys about today. Yes, that's right. Mr. Don Wells caught red-handed or maybe not so red-handed with his pants down. <laughs> so just when you thought nothing could get any more weird with Don Wells, he either takes a shit <laughs> on YouTube on a live, sorry guys, I can't stop laughing, <laughs> or Don Wells was doing something a lot more sinister, potentially involving drugs. Not sure which option is best, probably taking the dump, but my eyes are still burning from watching it. Well, one thing I can say about Don's latest bizarre behaviour, it's given me a real good laugh. In fact, I've got to be honest, guys, it's given me the biggest laugh I've had in months. Dealing with true crime cases can be quite upsetting. It's quite depressing, but I find true crime fascinating. If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing this channel. But Don Wells giving me a bellyache laugh, making me laugh. I haven't been able to stop laughing all day today about it. We all needed a good laugh, especially with coronavirus and everything that's happened in the world in the last couple of years. And this has just given me a damn good laugh and it was just what I needed. So it would seem that Don Wells no longer wants to appear on live videos where he gives out statements. He wants to have his friends write the statements for him and pretend that he's written them. Because I think we all know now that the latest two statements that have been put out on two different YouTube channels apparently from Don Wells are not really written by Don Wells. If you look back through all of his previous interviews, he doesn't use the language like the language that is used in the latest two statements, as I said, that he's given out. I think that a certain person is writing these statements for him, and I don't believe they're being written by Don Wells. So it seems really weird to me that suddenly Don wants to have written statements read out by his friends on YouTube. Why can't he just speak out? Is he worried he's going to say something he might regret? Probably not. He said plenty he ought to regret already. So I just don't get this. These statements are definitely not being written by Don. There's too much language that is being used that is not the sort of language that Don Wells uses. So some of it may have been input from him, but the words used are definitely not ones chosen by Don Wells. So can this case get any weirder? I mean, I know this should be about Summer Wells, but I've got to say... Don's latest live on YouTube. It's probably the most funniest live I've ever seen in my life. And at the same time of it being funny and amusing, it was also extremely concerning. Seeing that Don was either taking a dump, going to try my best not to laugh here guys, or that potentially he was doing something a lot more sinister. I've had a lot of people commenting they think he was doing drugs, not going to the toilet, trying not to laugh about the toilet. I can't be sure. If he did go to the toilet live on the internet, he didn't appear to use any toilet paper <laughs> or wash his hands. I'm really trying not to start laughing really hard here, guys, so bear with me. So what was he doing? Do you think he went for a dump live on the internet? Or do you think he was doing something a lot weirder and a lot more sinister <laughs> than going to the toilet in front of the world? Or do you think he was actually doing drugs? Be really honest with you guys, Candace came onto the screen very briefly, I'm guessing not wanting to. It was only for a very brief moment, but to me, Candace looked comatose. She looked off her face. Some people are claiming that's how a heartbroken mother looks. Well, to me, that's not correct. That's the look of a person off their face on drugs. So it makes me wonder, what on earth is going on in that house? So many weird things happened. I'm going to make a separate video about another thing that was weird that happened that I'll be getting out for you guys very soon. But the main theme I want to discuss today is why were the pair of them potentially both doing drugs? This is just my opinion, guys, but I do believe Candace was definitely on drugs. I could be wrong, but that's what I think I saw. Don was wearing sunglasses in the house. Bit weird. And when he took them off during part of that live... He looked like he had a big lump on his eye. Now, it could be something called a sty. It could be something else. 
could be someone's hit him in the face. But then it would look more like a black eye. So I'm not sure what that was all about. Maybe Dom was wearing the sunglasses because of the visible lump that was on his eye. I can't be certain. But <laughs> the fact that he potentially sat and did a dump wearing sunglasses <laughs> is very weird. Maybe it wasn't a dump. <laughs> Sorry guys, I really can't stop laughing. I would rather that Don Wells did a dump live in front of the world than do drugs. That's worse. They're both pretty bad. Who thinks that it's normal to do drugs or go to the toilet live on the internet? Don Wells, it would seem. So wow, sorry to keep going on about the toilet talk guys, but whether it was a toilet, whether it was something more sinister, it's all really, really rather weird. I'm wondering when there's going to be a break in this case. When is Summer Wells going to be found? And what on earth is going on with her parents? So things just get more bizarre on a daily basis, especially surrounding Don Wells. I can't get my head around his behaviour. All of his statements, whether he writes them or not, are bizarre. If he has had some input in those last two statements, they're not nice, they're nasty, they're bullying and they're horrible. So I do believe that Don has had some part in the statements, but I imagine they've been written and worded by one of his friends. So wow, I think the whole internet's gone mad today because Don Wells might have gone to the toilet live on the internet. Whether it was the toilet, whether it was drugs, like I said guys, either is disturbing. Seeing Candace looking off her face, I found also very disturbing. Something's not right in that house. Something's not right with this story. And when is Summer Wells going to be found? So let me know what you think, guys. Did you notice anything else weird that went on? I did. I think I heard the sound of another person's voice. That person did not sound like Grandma. She did not sound like Candace. She said Don's name. And I'm going to speak to you about that in another video very soon. It does make me wonder if a pair of them two, Candace and Don, are sitting at home, potentially, and I have to say that, getting off their face, why on earth are they not out looking for their so-called missing daughter? Well, I wonder what tomorrow will bring in Summer Wells's case. More bizarre behaviour from her parents, especially her father, I imagine. I just hope there's a break in the case. I really do. I hope the police out there in Tennessee have got some suspects in mind. I hope they can get some solid evidence soon. And I really hope and pray every day that Summer Wells is going to be found safe soon. Well, anyway, guys, it's just a short one from me. I'm hoping to get another video out later today. If not, it will be tomorrow. I want to talk more about what happened in that live. I want to go through another thing that I noticed, this woman's voice. And I'm going to be back with you very soon to discuss that. So as always, guys, let me know your thoughts and views. Have you watched this live? If not, you really ought to because it's a real eye opener and it was extremely funny. I do not want to promote Don Wells' lives on these other channels, but for context to see what those two parents of Summer Wells are really like, it's certainly worth watching. So please pop your comments below, guys. Let me know what you think. Did you see this live? Are you horrified? Do you think Don took a dump or do you think he was doing something a lot worse than a shit? Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to try and stop laughing about Don potentially going to the toilet in front of the whole world. I hope you're all having a great day wherever you are in the world. Hopefully you're not live on the Internet going to the toilet. Fingers crossed. As always, I'll be back with you all very soon for another true crime video. Bye for now.